welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm outside of ota and i'm going to be doing a beginner's makeup kit back to school edition so you guys have been highly requesting for me to do more back to school videos so here it is so today i'm going to go inside of ota show you high-end drugstore products that i have personally tried in the past i'm currently obsessed with products that i 100 percent recommend for you guys i will never recommend anything that i don't like so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna go inside of ota if you guys want me to do like a walmart edition give this video a big thumbs up and if you get this video to 3,000 likes then i'll go ahead and go to walmart and film the exact same thing but all drugstore for you guys since this is kind of like a beginner's makeup kit i do want to let you guys know that when you're a beginner brushes can be like the most kind of like frustrating thing because you don't know where to get them or they might be a little too expensive you can find like really affordable brushes but the thing is it's kind of hard to find affordable brushes but then good quality brushes so i am subscribed to morphe me brush subscription and that's basically where you receive three to eight brushes every month for $19.99 that already includes shipping and handling so this is my brush collection just within the matter of a couple of months i never thought my brush collection was gonna grow like this fast and honestly i really like the brushes they're really good you get anywhere from like eye brushes to face brushes every month you'll get like a different variety so if you guys are interested and in signing up for the brush subscription the link will be down below and if you sign up using my link which is the one i just told you is linked down below then you'll get one free brush on your first month so yeah i just want to share that with you guys because i know like brushes can be like the most frustrating thing you're like oh my god do brushes like really affect like the way it blends out and it kind of does so you want to find good brushes that are kind of like affordable but also good quality but enough rambling let's go inside of ocha and get this video started all right guys so here we are we just arrived to ota and let's go inside and get started okay so we can start off with dose of colors dose of colors has really good like lippies like i have truffle like majority of the time i'm always wearing truffle and it's really good they are 18 dollars for 0.16 ounces but they last a really long time well depending on how much makeup you wear but honestly the formula is so bomb and not only do they have mattes but they have lip glosses as well sorry i take my nose so it's not like the prettiest view of my hands but yeah their lip glosses and their matte lipsticks in general are super super good but they're honestly so good i highly highly recommend these this is one of my ultimate favorite concealers this is the nars creamy rating concealer this one is kind of like in a little pot like a yeah just basically like in a little container this one is 30 dollars it comes with 0.21 ounces but i usually get custard and the coverage of this concealer girl it's no joke it's so highly pigmented and it'll cover literally anything and I like it it's like a creamy but not too cakey on the face like it won't feel that heavy now they have this one and they also have this one up here like the stick ones so it just kind of depends they have like the same amount um, it just depends if you want this one or the one down there but I highly highly recommend these now for primers Smashbox has really good primers this is a foundation primer this one's $36 um, you can get this one it's the original one minimizes pores this is the primer water or the primer water with moisturizer but I personally have tried this one and I really like it it's kind of like a silicone base but it smooths out your skin really good and I highly recommend it $36 for this one here's another really good item from Smashbox these are the cover shot eye palettes these are 29 they come with a total of eight shadows um, I've tried this one a blaze but these three palettes here are brand new um, oh my god I almost dropped it imagine if I would have dropped it but look they're like super pigmented and really really pretty and creamy so these are really good palettes like if you want to carry them like in your backpack to retouch or like if you want to travel these are like essentials because they're so tiny but not only that the formula is really nice as you guys saw it blended really nicely and they're so creamy so these are another piece that i highly recommend and they're just 29. now becca has really good highlighters um 38 for the pressed highlighters they have all different shadows the one i personally tried is champagne pop and opal these two are like my favorite one this one's jacqueline hill obviously and this is opal so these are some of my favorite ones they're so buttery and they look really nice on the skin especially if like you wet them with like a fix plus and then you put it on your cheekbone it'll look really really good so these i highly recommend and another thing I recommend from Becca are these, the under eye brightening correctors. These are actually really good. Um, it just depends if you want light to medium or medium to deep, just depends on your skin tone color. But these are honestly so good. Like if you have really bad under eye area and you put this underneath and then you concealer, 
is like bomb. These are 32 bucks and but $32 is worth every single penny. You will literally notice a difference in your Android area will look so much brighter. Okay, this has nothing to do with the video, but oh my god, look at the brand flesh. I have been wanting to try it out. Oh my god, should I get something? No, I'll just probably wait, not look up reviews because I know this brand is brand new. But I just wanted to show you guys. They have this palette for 30 bucks. Looks pretty pigmented. Looks cute. And then from Cover FX, um, their primers are actually really good. The mattifying primer and the blurring primer, but it just depends. I feel like this one is a little bit better than the mattifying, but obviously if you have really like excessive oily skin, then go ahead and go for this one. These are $38, and also the light translucent setting powder is really good from Cover FX. This one's just translucent light, or they have translucent deep. Again, just depends on your skin tone color, but these are really good as well. So these two products I highly recommend. These are 38 and these are 35. I feel like this one's like very finely milled and it doesn't have any flashback. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't really want to say it's kind of like the Laura Mercier one, but this one's really good as well. Moving to Anastasia, they do have like their brow pencil and their brow gel and brow primers. Um, I'm not such a big fan of the pencils, but these, the powder duo, these are actually really good. These are 23 bucks, and they have all different types of colors. Um, and it's really good because they give you, let me try to open this. They give you a light shade and then a dark shade, as you can see. So obviously you would use this from like the very back of your brows and these for like the, the beginning of your brows, but these are really good. Oh, and then where are the other ones? Oh, these. The Brow Wisp Pencil, 21 bucks, and they have like all different colors as well. And like, let me show you, they're like, the pencil is really nice. See? And it's so easy to mimic the hairs of your brows. So I highly recommend these. But there is a dupe, kind of like a dupe, the cover go on. I'll show you in a little bit more. But, I mean, if you if you got the money, girl, <laughs> you can buy it. 21 bucks for this. And then also, the Dipper Pomade is like a holy grail. It's like a must. 18 bucks for this one. But this also depends. This is more like if you want like a more natural brow. And this is more if you want a more defined brow. So it just really depends. The only thing about these is like within time, they start to dry out. But if it's like brand new you'll probably go with like five months without drying out and it'll be like the best product you've ever tried so these are really good and then their palettes like come on their palettes are like a must these three palettes right here especially the modern renaissance is really good like the shadows are really velvety like if only i could like explain to you how they feel and they blend off so nicely so these palettes i highly recommend to all three but if i had to choose from these three i'll go with this the modern renaissance it's really good these are some of my favorite concealers these are born this way naturally radiant concealer these are 28 bucks um these are actually really good they feel kind of like a watery consistent but they feel so good on the skin like it doesn't feel cakey and it doesn't really crease because i have like that problem where i crease really easily for the under area but these concealers are like bomb these are really really good and then obviously the foundation is also really good um, I would describe this like exactly like how it says medium to full coverage but if you add I think like about four pumps it does get pretty full coverage. This one's 39 bucks and it also feels like very lightweight on the face and it's infused with coconut water. They have a different shades variety and they also just added the new shades that Jackie Aina came out with so they have really good variation for different skin tone colors but this foundation and the concealer, I highly recommend them. Oh my god, the I Love Sarai collection, dude. What the heck? <gasps> Dang. Oh my god, I should have never seen this. Now I want this palette. Oh, look at her lip gloss. Fresa, Aesthetic, Nude Chica, and Peachy. Mm, there's only one palette. Should I take it? Oh my god, it's so good. No, no, no. I should probably control myself because I have too much makeup now. But look at this one. Soulmate. Oh my god. Okay, I need to go clean my hands, but dude. Uh, I really want it, but no, I have to have self control. So we're gonna walk away from this. Moving on to Urban Decay. Urban Decay has like the best setting sprays I've tried. Well, except MAC. The All Nighter spray is awesome, dude. Like, it's so good. $32 to $34. I think it's $34. It just depends. Like, if you want the long lasting or the oil control, I've tried the long lasting and seriously like it. It's really, really good. So, I highly recommend this one. I don't think I've tried anything else from. Oh, no, no, no. I have. Okay, if you're a person that likes to like tight line your waterline, try Perversion, the 24 7 waterline eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner you will ever try it's $20 but it's worth every penny like it literally doesn't smudge or anything it's really really good that's one I use and it's like even hard to take off with my makeup and real wipes 
because it's that good. And then from Tarte, oh, obviously from Tarte, I have to recommend my Amazonian Tarte Clay Foundation. Um, did I say that right? I think I said it backwards. Amazonian Clay Foundation. <laughs> But this one is really good. Um, this one is $39. It is kind of like very like on the heavy side. Like it feels very like clay basically. But it is super like full coverage. Like if you put on like a layer of this, that's pretty much all you will need. Um, but it's really, really good. It's really good for also like oily skin. It helps you control a little bit like your oil. But not only that, it's just mostly full coverage. So every person that loves full coverage foundation, this is a foundation for you. Really good. And then blushes. I know I'm not like a big blush person, but these blushes are just bomb. These are $29. These are the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. Um, I actually tried these blushes whenever Sephora gave you like that birthday kit that they give you. And I fell in love with these blushes. Right now I'm in the phase where I just like bronzer and highlighter, but whenever I went through the phase of liking blush, I used to use these and they were really, really good. I feel like the consistency is like, like any, it's just different from other blushes that I've tried. It's just because it really does last a long time and it's like really good formula. So like even just that, when I did one swipe, it was like, that's a pigmentation right there. So I highly recommend these, these are $29. And then, I don't know if they have them. Oh, these. These are really good, too. They have these, and they have the lip glosses, creamy matte lips, and the soft matte lips. And these are really, really good. These are $16. Um, like, let's see. These are not better than the Dose of Colors. But if I would have to choose from these and the Dose of Colors, I'll put Dose of Color first, and then Tarte. Um, these are still good, but they're not as long lasting as a dose of colors, but these feel do very feel very very creamy So I, I really like these too. So I recommend these for you guys and these again are just 16 bucks I almost forgot these lipsticks from NARS. These are $34. I know they're a little bit like on the pricey side, but Anita is like the best little lipstick you can ever purchase i'll swatch it right now i've tried anita and i really like it i'll do a couple of the swatches so you guys can see the colors the consistency on this lipstick is so good like they're really really bold and they have really good coverage um so i highly recommend these i'm gonna do a couple of swatches so you guys can see it goes from left to right so it's raquel barbara anita and then it's annabelle and then it's jane <laughs> i almost got confused but those are the names in the order from left to right and look oh my god they're just so pretty i really really like these highly recommend them okay and now moving on to drugstore the instant age rewind concealer is really good this one is just $8.99 the only thing i really don't like about this one is kind of like the sponge but i mean it's that good that i will like overlook that and still use it but the coverage is really good on this one um i really really like it so i highly recommend this one and then for foundation the fit me is really good it just really depends they have the dewy and the matte and poreless i have tried the matte and poreless and i really do like it i feel the dewy one i feel like it'll be just way too dewy or i mean it just depends if you have really dry skin then this will be totally for you this one's 7.89 and i really like them and i like that they also have like testers and otons for you to Oh my god. Dude, I always drop things. But anyways, they have testers, so I think it's really good. I really like these foundations. They last a really long time, and it's not um, too matte to where like, you feel like your face is cracking. It's just like the right amount. And then obviously, we have to talk about these, the Fit Me Concealers. These are dupes for the NARS that I just showed you, and these are just $6.99, so they're definitely so much cheaper. I highly recommend these concealers. Honestly, so, so good. It's like so creamy. I don't know how to explain it, but they're honestly so good. I always get light, which is shade 10. They also came out with like the Super Stay, this one, the stick one. I haven't tried the stick one, but this one I have tried, like the full coverage foundation, just the one in the bottle. Okay, girl, if you have like super, super oily skin, then go ahead and get this one, because this is like by far the most matte foundation that I've tried drugstore-wise, and this one's $11.99. It's really, really matte. Just watch out, because it does oxidize a little bit. But other than that, if you have really oily skin, I highly recommend it for you. It will keep you matte throughout like almost the entire day. From Revolution, they have these, which is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a concealer and define all take coverage. This one's just $7. When I first tried this one, I really didn't like it, but lately, like for the past week, I've been using it, and I've really been into it. So, highly recommend these. They also have tested here for you to just go ahead and see which one's better for you i personally use c10 but i really like it it's so full coverage and i like the wand like you can really get enough coverage like everywhere in your entire face so highly recommend these Ooh, moving on to elf elf has like the best 
liquid matte lipsticks like affordable wise these are just five dollars i've tried this one which is a tea rose and perline and they are like the most prettiest mauve colors you can ever find so i really really like these and then also their eyeliner liquid eyeliner is just two bucks whenever i started makeup i started with this one and like the tip is not like the most precise but it's precise enough for you to like get practice and stuff and the thing is when you do your eyeliner you just keep on doing it so you'll be like okay i just wasted two bucks so i'll go ahead and go get another one because literally when you start with eyeliner you practice so much you pretty much run out of it pretty fast but I really like this one and also I feel like you need a mascara this one is just to set your brows in place so they won't move anywhere so I really like these oh I didn't know they have this ultra precise brow pencil oh my god I think I'm gonna try it out I didn't know they had that I want to try that out and then also ooh, they have brushes here here where like good affordable brushes are elf has really good brushes they have a blush brush blending c brush eye blender angled dual brush powder brush foundation a blending a face a blurring they have so many i feel like these are like the more affordable brushes and then it moves on to like the fancier ones that they just came out with these are 10 to 12 dollars so it just kind of depends these are like the more affordable ones but i feel like for your face these will be good enough like a powder brush this one you can use it for like your highlight or you can probably even use this as your highlight which is the eye blender so these are some really good brushes as well and they also have really good primers i've recently tried one of the primers and i really liked it so elf has pretty good stuff you just kind of have to like pay attention to what you're getting and like really do like your research but so far what i told you of elf is really good you should test it out okay we're gonna move on to wet and wild which i think this is the brand that has like the most things that i really like starting off with their rich and blend shadows these are actually really good i've tried this one which is comfort zone i really liked it i wish i would have tried rose in the air because that one looks really pretty this looks like more like my shades but i really liked it the formula is really good and they're like really highly pigmented i used to try these when i first started doing makeup oh my god they brought me back so many memories i used to use these but i highly recommend these and then they're matte liquid lipsticks they're only 4.99 i used to use give me mocha and they are so so good like you have no idea how good like these malik lipsticks are and they're just literally five bucks so i highly recommend for you to try these out it'll last a long time and then obviously something else from wet and wild that they're very known for is like their foundations and this is the photo focus foundation this foundation has kind of like the only thing bad thing it has kind of like a funky scent to it but other than that they're really good really good high coverage and they're really good for photos which is why they call photo focus it has no flashback so i highly recommend these and get so much they are literally just $5.99 and then another thing that I really like are their highlighters this one blossom glow oh my god it's so pretty I used which one did I get last time I got golden flower crown by accident it was a little too dark for me but this one the blossom glow girl your highlights gonna be popping and they're literally only $4.99 so these I highly recommend and then moving on to Milani Milani has really good foundations this is like the foundation that I'm currently using right now this one is just $9.99 it's the conceal and perfect foundation two in one it basically comes with like the concealer and the foundation in one but I really like it, it has really good coverage the only thing is if you have oily skin it'll make you a little bit more oily but they're honestly so full coverage and it lasts a long time so I really like this foundation highly recommended the color statement lipsticks I used to use teddy bear all the time and their lipsticks are are so good they're 4.99 now these are not like 100 matte they're more like a little bit of sheer but teddy bear is still super pretty so i really really like these and then i've never tried anything from essence the only thing i've tried is this one the brighten up banana powder that that they recommended this one's only 4.99 and this little powder has changed my makeup game ever since it literally brightens up like your under area so good so i highly recommend that one but other than that i've never tried anything i want to do like a full face of essence maybe i should do that and test out like the makeup that they have but the brighten up banana powder i really recommend it okay from l'oreal this telescopic mascara is so good right now they have the buy one get one half off but i highly recommend this mascara it literally gives you like such long lashes this is like used to be like my ride or die mascara but now i'm using the better than sex mascara oh which i didn't show you guys but the Better Than Sex Mascara is also really good, so I really like that one. And then what else do I like from L'Oreal? I know there is something else. What is it? Oh, obviously the foundation is like so good. I Okay, I need to try this one yet. 
which is like the dewy one but since I have really oily skin I feel like it's gonna make my face extra dewy but this one the infallible pro matte is really good it literally lasts all night it has no flashback I really really like it I recommend it it's like very very full coverage so i really like this one and right now they have buy one get one half off so you can buy one for 13 and then you can get the other one for six bucks so stock up on two of these and let's see i think that's all that i've tried and then another must is the covergirl brow microfine and define pencil this is kind of like a dupe for the honest sauce except it's 6.99 and I, ha I get it in rich brown and honestly it's the best eyebrow pencil you can ever get and then for lashes our dough has really good lashes they have different varieties um, I used to really like the duo lash glue, but now I like this one, which is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This one, literally, once you put it on your lashes, it does not move or slip or slide anywhere. This was just $3.99. And then also, Kiss has really good lashes. There's some that I really like. Where are they? Let me find them. Oh, these. Oh, girl, these are the new ones, and they're so cute and good. The blowout ones. Oh my god, I really like them, but just in general, Kiss and Ardell have really good lashes. If you're like starting out with lashes, you can probably start out with like the Ardell ones. I think they're a little bit more affordable, but I mean, it just depends on your budget. Real Technique has really good brushes. I started off using Real Technique and they have really good brushes. They don't have a lot of variety here. They have mostly like four face brushes and you also get to see like how they feel and like test them out. But if you go online, you can pretty much find like a whole bunch of other brushes and also there are blending this one which is this one the complexion sponge this one's really good but the morphe one the red one is even better they don't have it in stock if not i will show you guys but this one's also a really good alternative and this one's 5.99 okay since we're talking about makeup you need something to remove your makeup with right you need makeup and remove wipes these are the best makeup and wipes you can get i use the equate the walmart brand but i'm not a walmart so i can't show you but other than the walmart these are my favorite ones they're the vino ultra calming this is a twin pack with 50 count for just $12.99. If you have really sensitive skin and like other makeup removal wipes irritate your skin and it leaves it kind of like red with like an oily leftover in your face, yeah, don't go with those makeup removal wipes. Go with this. This is literally for very sensitive skin and leaves your face feeling so refreshing. So I highly recommend these wipes right here. They're really, really good. I used to use the Neutrogena ones, but I don't really like those. I feel like they burn my eyes, but those are like more for like on the sensitive side. So I highly recommend these right here. From next, they have really good soft matte lip creams. I used to use these all the time. Okay, out of buy Stockholm, London, and Cannes are where like some of my favorite ones to wear. The formula of this lipstick, oh my god, is the best you can ever try. They're literally so creamy and they feel so nice on the lips, so I highly recommend these. And then, oh, this one, the one I just got, which is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, is so good. This is like my holy grail, so definitely check this one out. And anything else that I've tried from NYX that I like, like, okay, the concealers are really good as well. The HD Photogenic Concealers, they're all right now, so I won't get half off. Oh, then I need to get something else from NYX. Okay guys, from ColourPop, they're Flexitarian. This is a Cheek Shock Highlighter. It's so good. It's literally only $8. And they have them down here, which is the one Flexitarian. I highly, highly recommend it. It is so good. And also their palettes are really, really good as well. I've tried some of them personally. But this popular here, I highly recommend it. It's really good. LA Girl has really good concealers as well. And they're literally only $4.99. Really good to highlight, color correct, and to contour. These are some of my favorite ones. I highly recommend them. From Stila, Stila has really good liquid lipsticks. These are $22. But these are really, really good. And then, let's see. Where is the other product that I was going to show you? Oh, this one. The Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Oh my god, yes. Best primer you can ever get. $34 for this one. I have not tried this one, but this one, I highly recommend it. It leaves your face so tacky, which means like your foundation sticks to it faster and it makes it last a long time. But this one, highly recommend it, girl. 34 bucks. And obviously the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one, the medium matte finish is the bomb. That's the one that I use. $38. 38 girl that would have been so much $30 that's what I wanted to say $30 with this one and it's so good that's the one that I always use currently right now and the Too Faced better than six mascara the pink one but I don't see the pink one it's literally the exact same thing but it's not the waterproof one it's just the regular the pink one that one up there is my favorite one so the mascara and the bronzer highly recommend okay guys now it's time to go pay all right we are out of Ulta and those are the products that I enjoy that I personally think you will enjoy too these are products that I have tried and that are like my 
my holy grails the only reason i don't have every single item that i just showed you in my kit is because that would be impossible i run out of products sometimes i try more affordable ones sometimes i try more high-end ones so it just kind of depends but these are like my favorite favorite products that i have tried so far uh, i do want to make like an updated one here from like here to two months just because i do want to get into more products and show you guys a more different variety of products just so um i can step out of my comfort zone and just so i can show you guys also new products that i have tried uh, i'm gonna do a quick little haul i met one of the pita chips she watches my videos i think her name is emma i got so nervous i forgot to look at her name in her name tag so i'm going based off the receipt and it says emma so i think it was emma i love coming to this ulta if you live here in austin it's the ulta by the gateway theater in the gateway shopping center this is by far my favorite ulta all the employees are hella nice like i love them so much i love coming here i feel like I feel comfortable around there filming because they don't tell me anything. So if you live here in Austin, come check out this Ulta. They have the best employees and they're the bomb. So I'm going to show you guys quickly what I got. Since I am going on the trip, I do need to restock on some items. And I'm going to Sephora right now and I have to go to Home Goods. But I'm going to end it here just because I don't want to bore you guys to you guys to Home Goods and Sephora. So I did get this CoverGirl um, Ultra Fine Brow Fine and Define Pencil in Rich Brown. This is my holy grail. If you have not tried this pencil, you have to try it out. It's the best pencil ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. So good. And then obviously my next matte liquid liner. And this one is in black. This one's the matte one. There's the Bentley one, which is kind of like the shiny one. And then there's the matte. I love the matte one. I personally like it. So very fine tip. And that's usually what I do my wing with. So I had to get that one. And then I picked up this, which is from Essence, the Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil. This one is in Silky Nude. So I want to start putting like a different color in my tie line. Not just always black, but sometimes I want to open up my eyes a little bit more so i got this new one to test it out so those are all the things that i got i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up like i said if we get to 3,000 likes i'll go ahead and do the same thing i did here but go to walmart where they have a bigger variety of a drugstore makeup and yeah that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you're not part of the peter chip family yet do not forget to subscribe so you can be part of us and you can join the family it'll be really really nice and i think that's it for this video don't forget to share with all your friends before i end this video i need to tell you something so you guys already hit 300k right we hit 300k stay tuned turn your post notifications on because sometime this week in a random video i will be giving the instructions and more information for the 300k giveaway and it's going to be huge girl so you better subscribe turn on your post notifications because all the instructions will be coming pretty pretty soon so stay tuned for that other than that i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys on the next one bye my loves Make sure you're subscribed so you can watch all of my videos. And if you want to keep on watching more and more videos, make sure to check out yesterday's video. You are not going to want to miss it. It's amazing. Also, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, make sure to subscribe to that vlogging channel right there. And if you can't get enough of me, here is my Spanish channel. So you can go ahead and subscribe. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.